Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone, this is me again talking to you about IELTS under the hashtag the horse mouth. And in, under this hashtag, I'm, I'm talking to you about IELTS. And I started um, only about two, three weeks ago talking about the different rubrics for assessing different skills. And I focused on speaking. And in speaking, under the, under the criterion uh, pronunciation, I started explaining some speaking features. And today I'm talking to you about linking. Um, by the way, I would like to thank very, very much all of those who shared my videos and read my posts and left comments and everything. It's not too bad for three weeks to make a couple of thousand of friends and a couple of hundred of um, followers. So thank you very much for that. So back to linking. So what's linking? Um, linking is when you put two words together and they're set fast that the sound of them being put together is different from their individual sounds. Let me explain. If you put the word game and then you put the word over, then let's say individually, game and over, game, over, game, over. So these are the sounds individually. But what if we put them together after each other and we say them fast? Uh, are, what, how are we going to pronounce them? We'll say game over or game over so notice the difference game over game over game over game over game over so game over is linking so that's linking there are two types of linking we link a word that finishes in a consonant to a word that begins in a vowel or we link a word that finishes with a vowel to another word that begins with a vowel so we're talking about in the first word we're talking about the last sound and in the second word we're talking about the first sound so that we can link them right now anyway the second word needs to be a vowel needs to start with a vowel now we're talking about the first word it can be either a vowel or it can be a consonant but we cannot have a consonant consonant all right you got that so consonant consonant though no. consonant vowel or vowel vowel you got that all right good now let me give you an example um, how can we link a word that ends with a consonant sound to a word that starts with a consonant sound let's let's take an example so for, so for example say turn and off so turn ends with the sound n and off starts with the sound o off off like o from from the abc o off so turn off but we don't say really turn off we say turn off turn off so here we link the two, the two sounds together um, another example if we say far away and you know that we don't say far away we say far away not far away far away um, so that's linking a consonant and always when I say link in a consonant I mean the last sound in the first word link in a consonant to a vowel which is the first letter um, first sound of the second word right good um, so that's an example here what matters really is the sound it's not the letter what do I mean by that look at the word have have H A V E the last letter in it is yes it's a vowel it's E letter E but the last sound is v, have, not have e, right? So have. So now we have a consonant sound, which is v. So you link it to a vowel if a word after it starts with a vowel. So let's take, for example, can I have a banana? Can I have a, can I have a, right? So we linked here, have a banana. Nobody says, can I have a banana? Can I have a banana, right? So that's linking. So what matters is the sound not really the letter. Now, that was linking a consonant to a vowel. How about linking a vowel to a vowel? Well, here things, uh, things get a bit too tricky. We have to be careful here about what vowel finishes the first word. If it's A, E, or I, we will treat it differently from if it were uh, or it was O or U. What's that? Let me explain. When we link a vowel to a vowel, actually we need to come up with something new. Something new. Something new. So you need to come up with something new to link to the two vowels. If we have A, E, I, then we put a Y, the Y sound, between the two words to link them. And if we have 
the first word it finishes with O or U, then we put the WA to link the two words. I know you don't understand, so <laughs> just hang on, I'll explain. Let, let me give you an example. Um, when we mention, for example, the word they, they, and then it's here it finishes with the word, um, with the sound A, A. So remember what I said, A, E, I, these sounds. If the first word finishes with one or ends with one of these sounds, so they, A, A, E, I, A, they, and then what comes after it is a vowel as well. For example, all, like all, everybody, all. Now we have they, all. So you got it. We have A and we have a vowel sound in the word after it. So they, all. Nobody really says they, all. No. We say they, all, they, all, they, all. See, another one. V, so it's E, and then end. Do we really say the end or the end? The end. So notice what we did here when we said, um, when we said they all, they, uh, we put that, yeah, they all. The end, the end. This is the end, the end. Nobody says this is the end, the end. No, that would not be natural. That would not be natural. Right, now I got you to think about the benefits now of speaking with linking. Let me give you another example before we speak um, about the benefits. We'll speak about the benefits at the end of the video. I will not make it too long, but lie, like lie, and then on, lie, so it's I, so we talked about three sounds, A, E, I, A, and then E, and then I, those sounds. So lie, I, on, Lie on. Lie on or lie on? You know, lie on. That's called linking. Lie on the couch, for example. So lie on, lie on, not lie on, lie on. Okay, now well, I talked now about linking a vowel to a vowel in case um, that the first vowel ended in one of these three sounds, A, E, I. How about if the first vowel ends with um, O, or you. How are we going to link it to the word after it? I'll show you. Um, let's take, for example, no and other. No, o, o, and then other. So here is a vowel as well. So what do we say? We put a W or a WA sound between the two. So nobody says no other, no other. Notice? No other. Mm -mm. No other, no other. No other person did that ever before. No other, no, uh, no other, no other. Another one, very, very popular one. You are, you are, you are wrong. You are wrong, you're, you're. So we put that W, you're wrong, you're wrong. All, when somebody throws up, so throw, up, throw. So it's O, throw, O, throw, up throw up throw up so we put that w here um if if you hear somebody speaking like that now here are the benefits if you hear somebody speaking like that i mean you're listening now so that will help you with listening now that would not that would not be surprising and you will know now after watching this video even if you don't know how to imitate that you don't know how to speak like that but you know that that person is speaking correctly that's the first thing and you will start to understand what that person is speaking because you will figure out that there are some tricks in the language that you need to be familiar with that people do use in the English language so when you're familiar with them then you will you will understand better you, you see what I'm saying um, and just let me give you one one example for um, for example when you hear when you hear the word sender sender send if i send something then i'm the sender you are the receiver right sender now if you hear me say send her an email and you will be like what what did he say what i said is not send her an email right i said send her a woman send that woman an email so i said send her an email send her an email so send 
er sender s e n d e r is pronounced the same way s e n d send and then her h e r send her but we don't really say send her we say sender there i know <laughs> um there is some reduction here all of that but we'll talk about that later but the thing is now you will you will start to feel that oh i understand better now he said send her an email but we native speakers don't really speak like that so you will understand better another example willy 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 can be a name of a person um so if you're speaking to somebody and and you say um um so and so will go to the park and and he says willy and he will be like what what did he say willy what does our friend Willie have to do with that? He didn't really talk about your friend Willie. He was he was saying will he Willie, Willie. So you start you say you will understand better when you know that there is something called Lincoln. How how about speaking? Um, when when you know that there is Lincoln and and you start to practice it and you start using it and you're speaking, then your spoken English will improve definitely, and that's very very important to speak naturally in IELTS. Let me give an example. Um, how would you pronounce the words go and out? So you say go out now, please. Not really. Go out. Go out now. Go out. Go out now, please. Go out now, please. Go out. Or, for example, I go to the mall too often. I go to the mall too often. Too often. No, too often. I go to the mall too often. Too often. See, it has its benefits in speaking and it has its benefits in listening as well so let me wrap up what i talked about in this video was linking and i said that you can link um, what linking is it's basically uh, putting two words together and their sound after being put together is different from their individual sound so you can link consonants to vowels or vowels to vowels only but you cannot link consonants to consonants okay and you know what i'm talking about if you don't know then you get a watch the video again um, when you link consonants to vowels no problem but when you link vowels to vowels be careful if you have a e i you put a ya sound and if you have o u then you put a wa sound now let's practice a bit towards the end of the video i want you to try and say these two sentences after me it's easy actually too easy to share this video with others to show them how interesting it was really now i've given you like four or five linked words in this but you got the message you know what you need to do now you need to link comment and share thank you very much right. see you next video bye